Welcome to Richby's Life's Adventures. Now, Debbie and myself and the two dogs, we're in Craig and we're off to a little holiday in Wales, uh, near Anglesey, a little place called Lambedra. Uh, it's an island just off Lambedra called Shell Island. Uh, we're meeting the Crafty Blinders. I've just been speaking to them by text message and they're a little bit further ahead than us. Uh, I think it's going to be a day or so before Kaz and Laz join us. Uh, going to have a quick meet up, a bit of a drink and a giggle. And uh, we're going to take you guys along and show you what we get up to. So uh, stay tuned and we'll speak soon. So here we are at Shell Island, uh, currently parked up with Crafty Blinders, Sam and Lisa. Um, just give you a quick pan round. That's the dunes. Dunes are massive. I mean, they go back three times that. fraction of the campsite, I mean, the island is massive. Look at the landscape in the background. What a view, eh? All the hills. And we're absolutely blessed with weather at the moment. It's absolutely stunning. So much so, since pitting the solar, this is the highest I've had the wattage, been touching on 300 watts today. Never had it that high. Highest I've had it so far is uh, about 280. So straight into float mode, no trouble with the fridge and everything running. Although we're only on temporary, um, temporary plug-in 12 volt fridge. So it's not the most economical fridge. Um, Hope you enjoyed the little recap on the video that I've done of what I've done to the van. Didn't really video much, just a um, quick catch up on what I've done so far really. Uh, Kaz and Laz are joining us in the next few days. We're uh, just sitting chilling at the moment with Sam and Lisa. And uh, I'll show you our antics as the few days goes on. Is Sam's build look? Such a nice van. It's even got grass in it, look. Doesn't take much mowing. <laughs> we had that much grass left from from, uh, from what we had at home. We just uh, we just brought it into the van. <laughs> We're all struggling. <laughs> look at his suntan, look. I don't know what's bright, the orange on his van or his red, face. Red or red.
here we are on Shell Island Beach. A lovely beach. All the dunes. That bit of land you can see over there, that's Barmouth. Dogs are absolutely zonkoed from playing on the beach. Gonna take him to get an ice cream soon. Can't believe this weather. It's amazing. The sea's really calm as well. So what are you thinking to Shell Island so far? Yeah, it's nice. Would you come again? Yeah. I think my only negative is not enough shower blocks. Yeah. So Riley, what do you think to the Shell Island? What do you think to Shell Island? Yeah, sure, right? Yeah, would you come again? Yeah. yeah? Rosie's struggling, look. Fat legs are starting to go. She's getting old, bless her. All right, here we are at the tavern, having a drink. Lisa, Sam, Deb, Richard. Uh, we're um, having a few beers, enjoying ourselves, waiting for the countdown for Kaz and Laz to come tomorrow. So uh, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Uh, we caught up with the neighbours. We got Lisa. Hey. We got Dave. Hey. His teepee is amazing. It's huge. And then we got. Then we got another Lisa. Debbie. Sam. Sorry, I forgot your name. It's Gareth. Gareth. And now he runs a Facebook group. <laughs> Regarding like van life in Shire Dubs, Shire Dubs, and what's it is that what it's called on Facebook? It is, yeah. And is it on Instagram or anything like that? It is on Instagram as well, yeah. Shire Dubs, yeah. Lovely. And um, what sort of things do you do? We organize meets, campovers, get togethers, and it's all on Facebook. Is it just caddies, T5? No, it's any VWs you want. All together, camping, even, even the big boys, even crafters, even crafters, yeah, yeah. get in, <laughs> big boys, I'm a big shire. <laughs> <laughs> we're still in it's a shire. <laughs> yeah, so check these guys out if you want anything van life regarding Volkswagens. Excellent. Brilliant.
luxury cheese and veggie burgers. So is that dairy free cheese? No. Lactose normal free? Cheese, normal, normal cheese, cheese yeah, right? Normal, normal yeah, free yeah. cheese. <laughs> veggie Beyond burgers. Cass is on the halloumi. Caramelized onions. Yeah. And then we're about to scorch. The brioche, brioche buns, buns yeah. yeah. To me, you're all right. What are you two haven't eaten? I know. <laughs> yeah. With some uh, potato salad on the yeah. side. Nice. Bacon this, free. This is all yeah. you need. And a half done van. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. People to and the sunset. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A sunset. And, and some dolphins. Yeah. Dolphins. Yeah. Two dogs from Rich. <laughs> and a fully finished luxury van, and that's all you need to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> to motivate us and put exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it is hard. Me and Sam are drooling, and yet yeah, we're meat eaters. Yeah. A couple of beers, so if your van is half finished, just get out there, have a good time. Yeah, yeah. If, all, if this doesn't motivate you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all looking good. Quick on the... Oh, this one's fine. I think the coals are hotter down that bottom yeah. end, aren't they? Yeah, they'll be quick on this side. Oh, All right, let's have a yeah, quick shot on. of this. Look, look at this. Look. Oh, <laughs> it's fine. It's crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> chuck, chuck the halloumi on. Yeah. And then onions. A couple of caramelised onions. Nice. <laughs> on there. What's on there? And some ketchup. Creme de menthe, for Some sauces. <laughs> yeah. Potato nice. salad, dinner's ready. Let's go. <laughs> Eat up, guys. Right. We're away for the weekend with Crafty Blinders. This is Sam, and he's, uh, he's built an absolutely stunning Volkswagen Crafter. And I mean, when I say stunning, it is stunning. This is Lad Riley. I'm sure he lent many a hand in the build. But, uh, how long would you say you've been working on it, Sam? Well over a year. Every year. I started in March uh, 20. I can't remember now, 2019. Yeah. Um, we finished probably like 85% of the build in April this year, and the last of it we've just kept chipping away, <laughs> chipping away. But the, the last kind of job we've been doing is the suspension, um, lifting it, giving it a le little bit extra weight, and upplating it. We're still yeah. in the process of upplating it because we're right on the limit. Right. So, so how, how much does this weigh? 3.6 <laughs> 3.6 and you're in the process of having it rebadged yeah, we'll and you've had to take weight out of it to keep you under the limit for your trips away until then didn't you yeah yeah we, we, don't, we, we filled it all up with all the fuel all the gear um took it to the local weigh bridge put it on there and it was like we knew it was going to be close but we didn't know it was going to be over yeah so once we knew it was over little things like not filling up with your water until you get to somewhere you know you don't need to carry that weight yeah running with half a tank of fuel reduces weight as well so we've, we've done we've got a few little hacks to get around it but it'd be a shame to get pulled over and yeah yeah so you put the five ton torsion bar and some stuff on the front and back five, five ton torsion beam across the front um bilstein's b6s on the front and the jones's hd heavy duty twin axle uh, sorry, twin spring on the back and has that made a difference to the handling because they're a bit wallowy normally it was, it was like chalk and cheese Right. If you were driving into a headwind and you turned, you thought you were going to get pushed off the road previously. Um, since we've done the rear suspension, and that's what's done it, I think, mainly. Um, it's like driving a, a new car. It's, it's planted. Yeah, yeah. And in all honesty, when we put airbags on the back, I expect it to even improve on that. That's the next step. Dumb up airbags, um, and that'll, that'll allow us then to do the... Um, certification through VT SV Tech of uh, Leyland and get our uh, four. We're going to take it up to four ton, fifty kilo. Yeah, that'll give us a little bit of payload. Does that require any brake upgrades or no? no. It's all been uh, it's all been tested to that to meet. That yeah, yeah. But it's a bit right. of a, a bit of donkey work. It's jumping through hoops that we didn't really expect to jump through. But it's going to be worth it in the end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, do you want to start off at the cab and talk us through this upholstery you've done? And when I say this upholstery, it is amazing. So this is Anderson upholstery from Newton Aircliff. Um, I looked around, I wanted something a bit different. I'm a little bit of a, a VW freak, so I wanted to bring a bit of the Golf GTIs into the cab. A bit of comfort. And uh, Anderson's definitely delivered. Yeah. Took them basically an hour 
to fit the seats while we were there. The quality of this stitching. Oh, it's second Yeah, it's unbelievable. And even this embroidery work, you know, they do all that for you. I'll get Sam to send me a link to the uh, upholsterers and I'll pop that in the description below. But it's... The, the unfortunate thing is they're very busy, but they're very busy because they're very good. Yeah. And you know, you might, you might have to wait a couple of months to get a slot, but it's worth the wait. It was the one luxury I wanted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got a reverse camera on the back there as well. To the mirror. We put the um, we put the Chinese heater controls in the cab as well. Yeah. Um, just the Chinese heater is. Are oh, you showing them your tricky bit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, YouTube. I bet it goes straight to Crafty Blinders, doesn't it? <laughs> some days, some days. <laughs> uh, talking of which, where can they find the Crafty Blinders? We're on Facebook. YouTube and Instagram. And, uh, Crafty Blinders. Yeah, and your Facebook page has gathered quite a lot of momentum, isn't it? It's yeah. more about uh, van life. Yeah. That's right, it's more of a community page rather than this van build page, isn't it? So it's anybody who's got a van, post on there. We love seeing what you're doing. Yeah. And if there's a problem or you want a bit of guidance, there's plenty of voices on there that will help you. And it's, it's a really friendly atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. You know, po people post when they're away on trips and, and the rest of it as well. It's, it's good. Yeah. It was a, a little byproduct of what we were doing I and mean, we didn't realize it would gather as much momentum as it has and it, it's it's always improving yeah but, uh, we'd, we'd like more that's right yeah <laughs> you, you're doing really well so uh, we'll step in the back now and this is where the magic really happens I mean that the upholstery in the back here look it's all been done to the same standard same people same company his craftsmanship is second to none he keeps slating it off, but I think it's amazing. And I'll show you a little details, like all around here, all around there. Look how clean, look how neat that is. It's amazing. Lovely tiles, nice splashback. All his controls, controls dotted everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Thetford Triple X oven, I take it. Yeah. It's a little bit dirty, we've, uh, we've not washed it since Lisa was cooking last night. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a square bed, isn't it? Yeah. What's, Sem what dimensions is that? 75 inch by 75 inch. Um, so you can sleep either way? Yeah. Comfortably? Yeah. It, it depends on the terrain. If you want to sleep left to right, you can sleep left to right. If you want to sleep front to back. It's a good it's idea having it square. You've got all these window curtains all been made up for him and you made the surrounds yourself though didn't yeah, you yeah. it's just the wind the just curtains got, themselves the curtains made a, yeah an upholstery uh, sorry uh, a curtain making place i can't think what you call yeah, yeah. Uh, a haberdashery shop and this back in it's a it's a vinyl wrapped ply isn't it yeah yeah that was just for the sake of riley you know he's uh, yeah he's a mucky little pup and we didn't want him dirty in the van and not be able to clean it so that's all wiped down and i understand that's interchangeable you yeah, can change yeah, that take it out yeah it's all on velcro from what i understand so he can just remove this this if he wanted to change the color in or just give it a revamp or anything like that everything in the van you can take out we've designed it so every part if something goes wrong you can remove it got all lights in his shades What make of fridge have you got? It's a Smed, it's a ventless fridge. Um, took me a little bit to get my head around the fact that it was ventless. I thought it was going to kill us in our sleep, but we've sniff tested it, we've made sure that there's no nasty gases coming out of it, just for that peace of mind, because when you're putting your most valuable items in your van, you want it to be safe and yeah. for everybody, don't you? Yeah. You don't want to wake up dead one morning. <laughs> but you've, you've had it tested and it's all fine, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. Good. So he's got a lovely timbre door on here. Really neat job on his bathroom. Really neat. Shower curtain's still to finish. That was just a, a, work in pro, a work around to get us away. Yeah. I'm going to change the timber for something a bit more, the timber and the clips for something a bit more yeah. aesthetically. Clear. And the shower curtain is just to protect the bathroom cabinet, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we just, just, just so if any water goes over there we don't have to pop the toilet roll away we can leave things out it's just just to contain the water in the shower area it's a good idea yeah 
Very good idea. Let's give that a shot. So, what's the thing you're most proud of in the van? The step. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I missed the most important thing. We'll we'll let Sam demonstrate yeah, this or Riley. Let me do it. Look at that. That is amazing, and it's so amazing. I'm going to pinch the idea. <laughs> and that ain't all it does, is it, Riley? No. Do you want to show the rest? Don't, don't show them your dirty underpants. Well, just show the lid just pops. Yeah, it's somewhere to store the toilet roll. And the laundry's in the top yeah, one. Yeah, and the laundry's in the top one, so it's a it's a double usage. It's amazing. Nice and sturdy. <laughs> yeah, that's good, isn't it? Riley Shaw Bolton. <laughs> right, I'm oh sorry, are you gonna come now? You got Max Air Vents Deluxe with the uh, screen and lights. And if you were to redo it again, what would you do different? Um, in all honesty, this layout works for us, but I think I'll try a different layout. I think I'd maybe put the shower and, and toilet at the back um, and try and make a bed so you, you had like a bit of a galley down the side of it and you could get to it. Yeah. But then you lose the garage. So it, it, <laughs> this works for what we wanted to do. Um, I probably wouldn't put a, a cassette toilet in or put a composter in. Yeah, as um, Kaz and Laz have got. Yeah. yeah. And then I would probably have one that you could lift out because I'm a big lad and the shower's a bit tight. Mm. So I'll put a full shower tray in and just sit the toilet in there so you've still got the privacy. But if you wanted to have a, a bit of room in the shower, you could lift that out. Yeah, good idea. You know, if you've got young kids, um, like our granddaughter, it's two people couldn't sit in the shower, so you'd have to have the door open. You're under risk of letting the water out, don't you? Yeah. So but for us, that's the only that's the only thing I would maybe change about this design, and that would be to take the toilet out and, and put, a, put a cassette, uh, not a cassette toilet, uh, a composting toilet that we could just lift in and out. Yeah. Now you are planning on shedding a bit of weight in the van, I understand. Yep. Diet. <laughs> <laughs> Diet first. Oh, I meant the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. I meant the vehicle. We're going to chop out um, all the stuff that we don't really need. So the tow bar straight away. Yeah. We've had it on there and I've kept it on there thinking I'll use that from there. But in all honesty, it's in there. Yeah. Every time you've got the back door, you bang your knee on it. The steps are, are serrated. So if you try and climb in the back, you end up losing a bit of skin as well. Yeah. So the option to remove that, and I think, in, in total, that should drop us at least 50 kilo. There's a lot of steel involved with it, and the fact that it's such a wide step, yeah, I think it'll, uh, I think it'll make a big difference straight away. Um, the bed frame, I love it, but I think I'm going to replace that for aluminium because it's, it's, it's over engineered for what they need. Right. Honesty, um, that'd be a, a good change, and I think we could probably drop maybe 10, 15, even 20 kilos by changing that. And We'll be looking for other things, but basically, they're the two main items for me where I could reduce the weight. And we're going to do some mods at Christmas time, and we're probably going to take a little route a little bit out of the York. Yeah. Just to just to reduce that weight as well, because that is quite a substantial bit. Um, yeah. At the time, it was all that was available, but it's it probably is just around this centre bit, route right out at the back or something. Just just to, just to pull a, little, a few extra kilos out of it. It, it is, in all honesty, it, it does the job, but it's so heavy, it, it could do really, <laughs> definitely re reduced. Yeah. Right, well, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you this weekend. Oh, it's been brilliant. And yeah. uh, we're definitely going to do it again. We're going to set something up again yeah. and we'll get meeting up. Uh, we're your way in, in a few weeks' time. We'll see if we can meet up at a pub or something definitely. and just have an hour or so catching up with you. Look forward to that, wouldn't we? Yeah, it'd be good. But anyway, I'm going to have a quick pan around the outside of your van now and uh, we'll see you soon.
Oh. <laughs> Where's his Ruby on the other No, nah, she's in the. Yeah. yeah. She's in there. Oh, so I was just making sure he had stolen one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he was gone out. He was like, oh, hello. See ya. Uh, Safe journey. It's all right, you're welcome. Three is where we can do it early. Because we could wait until we like retire or whatever, but we want to do it before we settle down. So we'll go for a year or two or whatever and then we'll settle down and do the house. Old, and you know, you're only young, right? Yeah, we're only 29. <laughs> no, plenty, plenty. You've got exactly. to think like when you're older, you might not be able to like move around as much. Exactly. You know yeah. I mean? We yeah. went to um, Rome, didn't we, a couple of years ago, and like we really sort of did it full on, you know, like all the tricks and walks. And all the <laughs> Another couple we're away with this hey. weekend is Kaz and Laz. Say hi, guys. Hi. This what, is our van. Yeah, and what van is it? It's a 2015 Citroen Relay L4 H2, 60,000 miles. We bought it about six months ago. Uh, February 2021. Yeah. We've yeah. been busy trying to convert it and yep. we're about a quarter done, but it doesn't <laughs> stop us from coming out, having fun. No. Absolutely. We're pretty free. much at the same same stage. Same stage. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we almost started at the same time. That's so right. Is on. Yes. Similar sort of time, <laughs> sort of January, February time. Yeah, yeah. and we we're both working full time. Yeah, so just doing it on the weekends. Doing it on weekends, and it's going to be full electric, no gas. So I we have a pretty have good. <laughs> Kaz refuses to have uh, gas, so we're going all electrics and diesel. So. If you guys are interested in what induction setup is going to look like, then give us a Stay follow. Tuned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so where can they find you? On, are you on Facebook? Are you on, on Instagram? On YouTube and Instagram at Cass and Laz. Yeah. And we've just done our electrics overview and we haven't installed it yet. So yeah. come and join us if you're interested. Yeah. <laughs> and what sort of heating are you having? We'll have a combi diesel heater similar to the Truma D6E, but it's the Chinese version. So not that many people are using it in the UK yet, yeah. <laughs> but it's picking up some steam now. So we recently done an unboxing and then we'll do an install video as well. And yeah. hopefully it performs as well as the Truma D6C, we'll find yeah. out. Yeah. Right, and you're having a bench seat there, aren't you? Yeah, we're yeah. going to raise this up in line with the cab. So when stuff. this guy swivels, it's all in line with the table. Have yeah. that a table on a lagoon table mount so you can swivel it around. Nice. A little bench in there. With the heater. And then a small overhead cupboard along here. Yeah. To put knickknacks in. And shower. you got a composting toilet I see yeah. there. Yep. Shower, shower <laughs> water just gone in. We have a temporary fridge set up there which yeah, is just yeah. a cooler <laughs> box with some ice but it will do us for a couple of days. And we just put in the composting toilet as well. Yeah. A vent going through the floor and we've done a, a pee test but we haven't done a number two test yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you wanna... so what do you put in that? Is that uh, just sawdust you yeah. put in there? Yeah, literally went to Pets at Home and bought yeah. some like the hamster and rabbit yeah. sawdust. We bought, we bought a bag of uh, sawdust that yeah. you're meant to put in and then you do your business, you put some more in mm -hmm. and it's meant to be pretty good so Because it stops like pet odours so Right Yeah Well done really Yeah, yeah, no, it looks good yeah. We'll see how it goes And then yeah. the rest is the We just finished putting this in We'll have some pull out uh, shelves there Kitchen That wall. is a converting bed isn't it? It becomes yeah. bench seats Yeah, that's a, right So we temporarily we just put in a piece of ply in the middle but that will be a table and it will lift up and we'll have the bench seats here. And you can see Cass's uh, cushion covers that she just yeah. recently made. <laughs> she made that and we're trying to convince her into doing that as a business. <laughs> exactly, so if you need <laughs> cushion covers, hit us up. That's it. And then yeah, storage or electrical bench on that side and then we'll have storage on the left side. Yeah. Overhead cabinets, 
So it's gonna be like a storage van. Yeah. You sell my storage van. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, although you're not quite finished, yeah. at this from this point, what do you wish you had done different? Ooh, that's a good question. That's your biggest. Well, we had the dilemma of do you do cladding ceiling first across the whole thing or do you do ply where your cabinets or your shower is going to go and then you just clad around the visible bits, right? Yeah. And we think the ply is good. It works out cheaper. But what it means, if you don't want to waste too much wood, is you cut smaller pieces and you have a lot more screwing to do and based on your battens where they are it's a lot more to figure out makes it more complicated whereas if you just do long cladding pieces it's pretty easy yeah so like together. this way is more time consuming because yeah. you've got different like templates to do right. but it saves money because the pvc cladding is expensive yeah it's like 70 quid for four sheets yeah so, so it's it pricey expensive. but it's lighter um, it wouldn't exactly cheap these days is it either exactly. yeah, yeah. <laughs> as i found <laughs> out yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so it's gonna take a bit more time but i think it'll be worth it and rather than wasting that cladding like behind the you know the uh, cupboards and yeah, the shower and stuff yeah apart from that i don't think we have regrets yet but we probably, <laughs> we probably will. Yeah. Hopefully yeah. the setup will And what's your really time well. constraints? What what time limit are you working to? Are you open to go to a certain limit? Uh, an ETA, when are you gonna finish? I'm hoping January. Is, yeah, end of the year. So and what's your goal for once you finished? Hopefully we'll go and have a trip around Europe yeah. or around the UK. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll do a couple of months around the UK as like a shake test to make sure everything's we're happy with everything. Another yeah. reason for going gasless, so you haven't exactly. got a fine gas, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, you know, the, another source you don't have to, uh, you know, all we've got to do is worry about our electrics and water, yeah. and we're happy. Yeah, we want yeah. to make it as off-grid as possible, so that we can have weeks where we don't need to worry about, oh, our gas is empty. And how much solar are you planning on running? We have, the plan is we'll have 800 watts of solar, wow. 400 amps of lithium, so it's pretty beasty. Yeah, and, uh, it's multi big plus system. three kva, twenty four hundred watt inverter. We yeah. do plan on using it for work as well. So that's why we wanted to do the convertible bed. Yeah. So we've got a big work area with the table coming up. Yeah, and have a little like. Well, we have heard everyone who complains about the convertible beds is that they don't want to make their bed into a bench all the time, <laughs> yeah. and we are the same. Which is the reason why we are doing having a table here. Yeah, you got uh, the best of both worlds. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's understandable. If someone wants to be in bed sleeping, or we don't want to make the bed into a bench area, but we want to get some quick work done, or breakfast, or whatever, then we'll have this set up. And if you're parked up somewhere mm -hmm. nice, or we need to get loads of work done and set up properly, then that will come up, and then yeah. we have a proper little work area going where we can get. That's stuff good. Done. It's already looking very homely, even though. <laughs> Cozy yeah. You get there. some people bullying you to going away to Shell Island and stuff, don't you? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's given us that motivation though. Yeah. It's like we needed a break from doing the build. Because yeah. you, you know, you get out there every weekend, you're like, okay, right, what do we do now? And you don't realise you can actually just get away in it. You know, yeah. you've got a bed, you've got a toilet. The reality you is, toilet, yeah, you don't need any of the fancy stuff if you're yeah. just doing weekends. You That's know, right. we, we have a, a pretty big plan because we're going to go away and travel in it full time but in reality if you're doing a weekend camper all you yeah, need is a it. bed maybe some electrics and yeah. you're good yeah yeah so going away at a stage like this it sort of brings home as to what you need and what you don't yeah. need doesn't it exactly yeah. it gets rid of the non-essentials you know yeah. 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 It's like even now, like I just want to be in the van, brush my teeth, and then go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to, you know, Most the toilets the aren't that far, but about. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, good luck with the rest of the build, guys. It's Thank been wonderful you. keeping up with you this yeah. weekend, and <laughs> I'm glad you managed to join us. So, yeah, uh, it's been awesome. It's been so good, yeah. So, so yeah. if you want to, yeah. <laughs> so, if you want to see these guys, check them out on YouTube and Instagram, and uh, check out their back yeah, catalogue. Enjoy us. We're trying to keep it real. Hopefully, we've been doing one a week weekly videos. So, we're not doing specific tutorials, just showing you how we get on. Yeah. Lovely. Cool. All right. Cheers, guys. <laughs>
Rosie's struggling, look. Back legs are starting to go. She's getting old, bless her. Thank you. 